Hey guys, welcome back to No Catch Your Name. It's me, Ella. Today is May the 5th. <laughs> I just said that and then I forgot it. But today I'm going to share with you my H movie and stitch square and my I movie and stitch movie. <laughs> I'm pretty sure this is the right week for it. I got all confused there for a few weeks. But I'm pretty sure today is the day we're supposed to do H movie. I think. I usually wait for Terry to pop up her video because she's on schedule. <laughs> but um, anyways, I got mine done i finished it last night while watching some Grey's anatomy and uh yeah i'm pretty excited about it so my h movie was hello dolly which i watched for free on disney plus i'm pretty sure well it's not free you know we have to pay for the subscription <laughs> but it's on disney plus i'm pretty sure it's where i watched it <laughs> that's i think that's where i'm trying to get all my movies from but it was a really good movie i really enjoyed it i hadn't seen it before but i love i usually if it's a musical i love it <laughs> i love musicals and especially the older ones because they're just done better than the newer ones but um yeah so it's a really good movie it's basically about uh dolly she's like a matchmaker getting other people together in couples and then she ends up you know wanting to be in a relationship with this one guy so it's about her helping set up these young people while also trying to get herself set up <laughs> it's a really good movie i liked it a lot um yeah so uh i'm trying i'm brain farting on what i'm supposed to be saying i pulled my inspiration for my square from one of her dresses in the movie it was i love like all the dresses in the movie i love it's just really nice you know that's something i love about musicals it's like it's over the top everything and um I just I loved her whole wardrobe but there was one particular dress I really liked and it was a very purpley dress <laughs> and it was in uh, one of the musical numbers in the middle of the movie kinda and they were at like, this park it was just really pretty just the whole setup and everything was real pretty so it's a purple dress and I I'm gonna insert a picture here of her in the dress and it's just really pretty um, different shades of purple so the yarns that I used for my square is Red Heart Super Saver Orchid with a really long tail here I gotta wrap around it and then I used also Red Heart Super Saver Dark Orchid <laughs> for these two. And then this right here is a Premier Just yarn that I got at Dollar Tree. I can't remember the color of it because I don't have the band anymore. Does this one have a band on it? Yeah, it does. Royal Purple. <laughs> and uh, I use this for one little piece of it. But I use these three purples to copy her purpley dress. I'm going to put this up here while I'm thinking of it. So I'm keeping those together. Anyways, so here's my square. Oh, <laughs> I made this one part a little too thick. I wish I had made these strips thinner. These ruffly strips. But uh, I didn't and that's okay. I'm not mad because it still makes me think of that dress. <laughs> uh, I realized they were too thick when I was sewing them on. But I wasn't about to start over. Because <laughs> uh, I didn't want to. But yeah, so the square is the same pattern I've been using. There's like sewing pieces. <laughs> it is the Simple Says It Best 6-inch square. It's free on Ravelry. It's a PDF download. It'll be linked below. And then the only uh, this little flower is I used a pattern for too. What is it called? Little Tiny Applique Flower. And it's a free um, applique on a website. When you click on the link, it'll show a heart pattern, but it's below it. It has a heart and then a, a, a flower. So that's what I use the dress yarn for. And this is the orchid and the dark orchid. So for these strips, I just crocheted long strips. And then when I sewn them on, I just kind of bent them and ruffled them up. Because if you look on her dress, it looks ruffly. So I tried to make it like a diamond shape. It's not the best, but it's, it still works. And then um, I put the flower in the middle because it has a flower. And then, yeah, I think it looks pretty good. It reminds me of the dress. I just wish I had made these. Good! Uh, I wish I had made these thinner. I got a new too. Awesome! <laughs> and, uh, but yeah, I still like it a lot. I think it's pretty. It looks also darker in real life. <laughs> it looks really bright on the camera. I don't know if it does when I edit it, but it's this is a dark purple. It's not as bright as it's showing. But I think I did pretty good. I like it. It's pretty big, too. It's like a thick square. <laughs> but my blanket's going to be all over the place anyway, so it doesn't matter. I'm still excited about it. But yeah, so this is my Hello Dolly square with my flower. I sold the flower just in the middle so that it would kind of floof up. Because if you look on her dress, it's like it's like that. It's like floofed up. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm pretty proud of it. I like it. I just wish I had made those thinner, but it doesn't bother me enough to uh, fix it. <laughs> but I like it. I think it's good. So I'm going to throw it up there with the rest of my squares. They're all stacked up there. <laughs> I'll stack that up nicely. 
eventually. I don't know, maybe. <laughs> also, oh, I left my thing in there. I haven't figured out how to pin it yet. I finally, um, blocked my stars, but I overblocked them. I put way too much Mod Podge on there, so they're kind of stiff, like really stiff, and I don't know how to pin them on my marquee now. <laughs> But uh, I'll show them in the next one because I don't want to go get it. It's in the uh, dining room. But yeah, so uh, my eye movie, Eyes Next, uh, I went through Disney Plus and I've already seen pretty much all the eye movies on there. Like the Ice Age movies, the Incredible movies, stuff like that. So uh, I found one that's an older movie and it's called The Island at the Top of the World. And I think that's what the one I'm going to watch. I'm going to watch it and hopefully get some inspiration to make a square. If not, then I'll find another eye movie to make or to watch. Uh, but that's the one I'm planning on watching. So we'll see if I enjoy it. It has something to do with, um, like, a guy. I, I read the little description. It's like a guy uh, gets these, hires these guys to help him find his son who's lost. Uh, and, awesome. <laughs> and it's some kind of, like, journey about that. I'm yelling at Jesse in between, <laughs> but that's okay. But yeah, so that's my uh, movie and my H square. So yeah, that's hashtag moving stitch. We're getting there. Um, I don't know. H I J. I've seen a few J movies that I, I want to see. I don't know. I don't know. It's a mystery. I always usually wait to the last possible moment to choose. <laughs> like last night, I made that square and I chose that movie. But it's usually because I forget. I get confused on what week is supposed to come out. But yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and hop off here and I'll see you guys in another video uh, coming up soon. <laughs> Bye guys.